This is David Schnocke from North Carolina Department of Ag and Consumer Services Research Stations Division. And uh, this is another stop on the virtual tour of the McCain Track Forest Management Area in Hope County. So we're currently standing in about a 110 year old naturally regenerated stand of longleaf pine. This is on one of the more upland or uh, higher sites on the property. Soil type is canned or sand. And what we're looking at there is five or six feet of white sand on top of a, a little bit of clay beneath it. So very excessively uh, well-drained site, very dry. Uh, and as you can see from probably the sun that I'm standing in, nice and open woodland structure in here gets nice and hot. Uh, looking around, one thing that we are certainly not lacking in this area is regeneration. So this is an area that we seem to have come into a, a, a nice crop of naturally regenerated longleaf pine. And pretty much what we've been doing in here is this part of the property has actually been burned biennially for about the last uh, probably 20 years or so. Occasionally we'll put an extra year in there and burn every three years, but for the most part there aren't a lot of smoke sensitive targets in here and we have a lot of red cockaded woodpeckers in this stand so we've really been trying to stay on top of it uh, as far as fire goes. And some of the things you'll notice, there's not much uh, mid-story oak in this stand. So because we burn it both frequently and a little later in the season, not quite growing season, but typically April or so, we have successfully knocked back most of the scrub oak. And we also, uh, because we've been keeping it burned pretty frequently, we've kept the fuel levels down pretty low. When we burn now, uh, we're not usually killing our longleaf pine. So we're actually in a position where we're starting to bank a lot of longleaf pine regeneration. So. Uh, again, I don't know how well the video is going to show all this, but if you look down, it is pretty much a carpet of longleaf pine in here. And here underneath, uh, a little bit of overstory, they're not growing quite as well, but if you look, for example, behind you where we have a, a, a gap that has opened up from overstory trees coming down, you can see that we have initiated quite a bit of height growth on some of that naturally regenerated longleaf pine. So it's a good spot to kind of look around and get an idea of the kind of gap dynamics that take place in these, you know, Zarek Sandhills upland longleaf pine sites. Um, and again, we're managing primarily for red cockaded woodpecker. So this is in the realm of what we're shooting for. However, I will say if we were to follow the letter of the law with regard to the red cockaded woodpecker recovery guidelines, this much regeneration isn't actually allowed if you look at the recovery standards. We're, we're really not supposed to have this many stems per acre that are in that under 10 inches in diameter uh, size class. So I'll talk a little bit more about that at another stop, but just kind of wanted to stop here and show you uh, what good natural regeneration looks like uh, on an upland longleaf pine site.